My name is David Brayton, and I'm a professor in the geography department. And I've been associated with Croesus since the founding. Croesus is really focused on characterizing the ice sheets and understanding rapidly changing areas of the ice sheet and in trying to understand the impact of the ice sheets on sea level rise. So this was centered in East Antarctica over a dome, uh, sort of a high point in the ice called Dome A and very remote area, very close to the uh, pole of inaccessibility. The data set was generated by an airborne geophysical survey on which there was a Croesus radar on board and that was flown in a grid pattern over this area to try to understand what was uh, below the ice. In the 50s, the Russians had, had uh, done a traverse with, with uh, with seismic instruments and they, they found some evidence of a mountain range. But yeah, basically nobody knew what was down there. And so we, we were pretty sure there was a mountain range, but not, a, not anywhere near 100% sure. So this confirmed what was down there. It's basically a large mountain range about the size of the Alps. The paper was published in Science uh, just recently and it was an observation made from the data set, uh, from the radar data, of a formation below the ice and the premise of this formation is that it, it developed because of freeze-on at the bed of the ice. So the, the water, liquid water was produced, it froze onto the bed of the ice and changed the structure of the, of the ice, essentially pushing up the ice from below. The radar was developed uh, under Croesus and um, tested in Greenland and Antarctica over the years and then was offered to this other group in Colombia to duplicate. So the, the radar itself was a clone of one of the radars developed at KU. It was a state-of-the-art radar for ice sounding, so the, it was the best available, and uh, that, that's why they were very interested in uh, duplicating it. <laughs>